You know, I've said before that I wanted to go and play bingo, but this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Hi friends, it is Sam and I come to you today on my special 30th Ace episode from my garden. Because everyone's currently upstairs and I don't particularly like filming while everyone's listening, although Jess's room is just up there, she can probably hear me too. Hi Jess! No response. <laughs> As we're my 30th episode in, I don't need to tell you that the Ace Episodes is a series on my channel all about asexuality, the casual sprinkling of aromanticism, and my experience with the two. So I'm gonna dive in. Today's video is a little game of asexual bingo, as voted for by my Instagram followers. Follow me on Instagram if you want to vote for what videos you want to see, although <laughs> it is typical that the Ace episodes are my most popular videos, so I guess I don't really need to put polls out there to know what you want. Vroom vroom, God's sake, we're in bloody lockdown, go home! So I don't tend to come out to that many people in real life. I feel like since I'm not dating or having sex, it's really no one's business that I'm Arrow Ace. If someone asks if I'm dating, I just say no, don't want to, and that's the end of it. So I doubt I'm gonna bingo many of these, and that's fine, because no prizes are on offer today. But I thought I'd react to a few of the popular reactions to people's coming out ace. So the bingo card is as follows. So let's see which ones I relate to. <laughs> so you're like a plant? Um, funnily enough, I'm the one that did that to myself. If you haven't seen my Komodo dragons are asexual video, I'll link it in the cards and in the description. Basically, when I first started looking into asexuality, I didn't think I was ace because I thought asexuality referred to plants. That's not what asexual means. I haven't had this one, but for anyone who has said this to someone, Google asexual. The first thing that comes up is a person who does not feel sexual attraction. There's a train going past. Again, that is on my Komodo Dragons video. Getting laid or fix that. I've actually had that one. I told someone in confidence that I didn't like sex and that I didn't desire sex and I didn't feel sexual attraction. And they were adamant that I just hadn't had sex with anyone good. Are you like super religious? No, as a matter of fact, I am atheist. I haven't had this one. Um, despite the fact that I often refer to myself as a nun, maybe people just assume I'm religious because I call myself a nun. You're just saying that because you can't get a date. Nope, never had that one. And I hate that one. I've heard it said to others and it's just plain rude. Anyone could get a date. No matter what your body type, sexual orientation, romantic orientation, skin colour, anything. No matter who you are, what you look like, what you identify as, you could get a date if you bloody wanted one. Woof woof. Dog! That's not even my dog. They have pills for that, you know. Are we talking like hormone pills? I don't know what sort of pills people take to gain sexual attraction. I don't think that's a thing. I mean, there are pills that can increase libido, libido, but sexual attraction? I don't think so. Special snowflake syndrome. Nope, haven't got that one. I think everyone in the entire ace community has got this one. You are really missing out. Do you know what, actually, a lot of aces do have sex and enjoy it. And just because we don't feel sexually attracted to people doesn't mean we can't enjoy sex. I've also done videos on that. Just check out my Ace Episodes playlist because I cover quite a lot of these misconceptions. You're gonna be alone forever. Yep. Yes I am. And I'm happy about it. You're too young to know that. Now since I came out as Ace at 20, 25, 26, um, I definitely wasn't too young to know that. But 
I do know of some aces that were told that, and it's not the case. And yes, personalities develop, sexuality changes, sexuality is fluid, but it's not to say that at that moment, on that day, they are not asexual. Can you even feel love? Uh, I've had that one in the comments before. That was fun. When I get these comments on my videos, I like to have a bit of fun with them. Like, no, I can't. It's a struggle that I deal with every day. Please don't come for me because I'm delicate. And they're really quick to apologize even though I'm being super sarcastic and messing with them. Something bad happened in your childhood, didn't it? I've had this one. Um, I covered this in a very early Ace episode. Basically, this guy was trying to hit on me on Facebook Messenger and I was shooting him down and I told him that I didn't want a relationship and I didn't want sex and he was like, you must have been hurt really bad. Ew, prude. I don't know if any aces have got this before, but I think it's kind of old fashioned not to be respectful of yourself and have high standards and only have sex if you consent, you're ready, you want to, you feel attracted to the person. I feel like, ew, prude, makes you a bit of a head, to be honest. Do you have genitalia? As of this morning, I can confirm that I have genitalia. It might have fallen off since I last looked. But yes, yes I do. Men can't be asexual. They just can't. Now I personally haven't had this one, but I have been told by some aces that they have had that said to them. And it's ridiculous really. Like, I hate sexism so much. Men are allowed to have emotions. Men are allowed to not feel sexual attraction. Men are allowed to feel everything women are allowed to feel. Thank you very much. Joke about binary fission. Confuses it with chastity. Yep. What's wrong with you? Not one I've had, but I'm sure it'll come at some point. You're just choosing to be asexual. No, no, you're choosing to be an asshole. I'm choosing to listen to what I feel and identify with it. That's not choosing to be asexual, it's choosing to accept my asexuality. Thank you, Bye bye But you've dated before. Not really one I've had, but I'm sure it's a common one. You're too hot not to have sex. Now this is one I'm sure Yasmin Benoit gets a lot of. She's an asexual lingerie model. She's wonderful. Follow her on Twitter. I'll put it in the description. If you need any more asexual warriors to follow, she is the one. You just haven't found the right person yet. Yep, I've had this one. This was from the same person that said getting laid will fix that. Not gonna happen. But you've had sex. Again, same with, but you've dated before. Haven't had that said to me, but I'm sure I come. Asexuality isn't a real thing. That's another one I've had in my comments. So I'd say I've got like a few of these. I Not enough to, to yell bingo to my neighborhood, but um, I guess that's a good thing. I guess I'm quite blessed. Like, I see a lot on Twitter about asexuals getting targeted by trolls and bullies, and it's awful. And I wish I could do or say something to help. If you are asexual and you get any of these when you're coming out to people, just brush it off, laugh it off. Like, most of them come from a place of misinformation and lack of education, and all you need to do is ignore it or try to educate the person. If they care about you and if they love you, if there's someone you hold in high regard, hopefully they should try to understand as opposed to tell you that you just need to get laid. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's also an aromantic bingo. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do aromantic bingo as well. Links in the description for race resources. I love you very much. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.